Hey, peeps, and welcome back to another episode here on Pixar. We can finally do Bob and shows, or uh, in this case, Bobby and shows, because Bob is chilling on her head. And actually, peeps, I believe Bob is, <laughs> yeah, Bob is a Bobette. So my bad, Bobette. I've uh, I've been calling you Bob this whole time, but I'm not going to change your name because I'm I'm too lazy to in the moment. But yes, in the last episode, we did a whole bunch of stuff. We went ahead and got Cloud, which is a very high level Tyranodon. So Dorito, you were extremely useful for us for the short amount of time that we used you, but Cloud here reigns supreme. They're actually they're actually um, a mating pair. We could breed them, but Dorito, I, let's just say he's got not so great genetics and uh, leave it at that. But yes, peeps, we also went to the magical forest to get magic stuff we now that's that's a very weird animation we now have a magic work table and most importantly uh where are they magic sleepy arrows so we can now start knocking out the magical creatures and thankfully we also now have a whole bunch of iron we have 80 or iron ingots and that's because iron uh ore veins are in the same spot as wind stone veins so yeah really nice so let's go ahead and start unlocking iron stuff oh my god we have to be level 40. right crossbow is something i wanted to make yeah we can't even make the iron iron armor yet all right we need to level up more peeps that is definitely something that we need to do today what level are we now uh why isn't it telling me my character info 35 okay so we're five levels away we'll definitely hit level 40 in this episode but honestly right now i'm most concerned about the crossbow uh yes definitely want to make that because if we're going to be trying to knock out the magical creatures peeps we need the most bang for our bucks so yeah the crossbow is definitely going to be the way to go magic sleepy arrows now unfortunately peeps we only managed to grab seven magic sleepy arrows and we're probably gonna need more than that so we need more mage weave but we're probably gonna be spending most of our day today in the i was about to say redwoods in the magic forest anyway so that's not really going to be an issue is it turning night it would be turning night right as i start the episode all right well i'm gonna go ahead and spend the rest of this day mining mage weave thankfully we do still live right next to the magic forest can i lure you off a cliff ah okay this way this way centaur Oh my god, is your AI actually smart enough not to do that? That'd be crazy if it was. Nope. <laughs> oh, you survive! Oh, you don't survive. All right. Uh, we also need to be on the lookout for high-level magical creatures. 96 gargoyle. Actually, what is your torpidity, though? Uh, 2,000. I would like to get a gargoyle. Oh, mantis. I would also love a mantis. Oh, Low-level mantis. So, unfortunately, the thing about Pixar peeps is spawns reset all the time so if you log off that's every that's it's basically a dino wipe and if you're away from an area for a certain amount of time again basically a dino wipe so we do if, if we find a high level we have to tame it that episode or uh, or or the next episode if i you know record them sequentially so yeah that's a little unfortunate in the sense that we can't really sit on a high level that we want to tame what are you Oh my gosh, a cobalt fire spider. That looks awesome. Thankfully, we haven't run into that issue yet. We didn't see any high levels in the last episode, which is, no, we saw a mantis. Yeah, we saw a cobalt mantis. That was a pretty decent level, but uh, oh well. All right, well, thankfully this magic forest biome seems to be relatively <laughs> massive. So I think we'll be okay when it comes to trying to search for new high levels so let's go ahead try to find a safe spot to chop down some mage weave uh, what is that oh my god the gargoyle wing flapping is so loud but yes like i said we're gonna chop down some mage weave today and oh the the sad thing about not getting the iron axe is that we're gonna get uh less efficient gains from chopping but oh there we go 15 mage weave right off the bat there we go so we get mage weave and magical wood from those which is interesting i wonder why there's a difference uh don't really want to aggro that gem spider cloud you're you're nice and all but you're not that great of a fighter compared to these magical creatures so if we can avoid any fights until we have something stronger i would not complain also peeps while we wait out the night let's oh my god you are you are excited let's go ahead and get some quests oh my gosh this is not oh <laughs> it's a dinosaur fighting a dude so i think these are hunt quests 
Uh, okay. Hunting expert. Difficulty 20. Is that 2 or 21? That's 21. Defeat low-level creatures. Okay. I think... Like, like how low level? Does a dodo count? Smack. It does! All right, well, let's go ahead and do this real quick. Uh, ow. Okay. Yeah, we should be able to do this super easily. How is this a difficulty of 21? What is, what is like difficulty 100? If there isn't, well, yeah, I guess, what is the highest difficulty? We're already on four and wow, the dodo actually survived. That's kind of crazy. Boop. We did it. Okay, now, now we go back, right? And we should get a treasure chest reward. Now, I don't, I don't remember if these rewards are worth it. Uh, I think we got it, right? On this mysterious planet, we're on a planet, you will need to defeat creatures to protect yourself. Okay. Submit quest. Oh. Oh, here's our chest. Okay, and... Oh! Okay, so a lot of Christmas stuff. I guess the Christmas event might, might still be happening. But uh, a leather helmet, which is I don't think is better than copper. A single copper ingot. Sleepy arrow, and this is PvP stuff. Okay. Uh, I don't have a Christmas tree, so I, I don't think I'll take those. Okay. Uh, is the leather helmet even good? This gives us 36 armor, and that gives... What? Leather and copper are the same? Oh, I guess I guess the copper has more durability, which makes sense, but the leather provides more insulation. That's actually pretty cool. Like, logically, that makes no sense that they're the same, like, armor value, but I like that... I like that they are, and then the, each one has its own kind of trade-off. Very cool. Very cool. All right. Can we can we do another quest? Uh, mm, oh, you already completed this type of quest for today. Okay, so you can only do one per day. Makes sense. There's another quest station in the magic biome, but we'll go ahead and accept that later once it's morning. All righty, peeps. It is now morning. We can finally see. And actually, you know what? The nighttime in Pixar isn't even that bad, to be honest. So we probably could have done this through the night, but I'd rather have just waited. But, uh, oh, a neon. You're a neon, right? Yeah. Oh, cool. You you do so much better than Magic Force. In, the, in vanilla Pixar, those guys spawned in the golden realm and got absolutely obliterated whenever they spawned. Oh, cool. Okay, so... We're, are, we're still seeing new creatures. Are these guys after me? Okay. Uh, oh, I don't want to aggro a serpent. Oh, ouch. I forgot they have a ranged attack. All right, you know what? We're going to do it. We're going to start this fight. All right. We're, we're actually not that much stronger than Dorito damage-wise. Uh, although I could be remembering wrong, but I thought Dorito was doing a similar amount of damage. We definitely have more health. A spring chitin shoes. Oh, those are actually pretty useful. Yeah, because these these give us like a double jump. Oh, Dodicarus, Terror Bird, Beasle Buffo. A lot of good things that we could potentially be taming peeps. All right, let's level up again. Um, I'm thinking damage. All right, so we do now have 24 total magic sleepy arrows, which I think is enough to tame something. What are you? Oh, you're that mole thing, right? Yeah, Cobalt Magic Mole. I wonder... Like, what does that do? I don't know. There's so many new creatures that I've never seen or heard about. All right. So what I'm hoping for is either a gargoyle, a flying serpent, or... Oh, are you different? You're different, right? Oh, oh 116! 116 cobalt gargoyle. That's exactly what we want. And it's cobalt. Uh, 6,000 torpor! Okay, um... I, I think we should be safe and try to mine more... Windstones, because that's that's the only thing we're lacking right now. Did you just aggro onto me? Yeah, that's the only thing we're lacking right now. So if we could get a high amount, that would be super nice. Oh my god, no, we need to run. I'm almost out of stamina. Oh, this is I might be in a predicament here, peeps. Okay, uh, remember where that that guy is. Okay, he's over here. Uh I need to look on the map. Okay. Okay, and here's a mine right here. Unfortunately, we have Mr. Spitzalot chasing me. Oh, is that enough to break the distance? Go one more time. Oh, fudge. All right. Well, this is going to be interesting. Regen stamina, please. Die. Ow. Oh, oh, oh it's, it leaves behind an AOE. Oh, you do a lot of damage. Oh, you do a lot of damage. Okay. You know what? Yeah, no. We're just luring you away. I have stamina now. Oh, I mean, do I have stamina now? Uh, oh. Oh, thank goodness. Is this, a, this is a new biome over here. It's pink. The pink biome, a moderately dangerous area. What is that? 
Hi, what are you? You look like a drone. A small patrol. Probably shouldn't get seen by that guy. Okay, nice. All right, well, let's go back. I don't have business here yet. We need to get that gargoyle. And then we'll be free to go a lot of places because gargoyles are really strong. And thankfully for us, there's a cobalt mine, right? Or not cobalt mine, but a, uh, a, uh, wow, my brain, a windstone mine right here. Also, a lot of you peeps were telling me what cobalt is in real life, which I know, I know what cobalt is. I didn't need like the billion comments telling me that cobalt is a material. What was that? Excuse me, excuse me. Hi. Oh gosh dang it, why Why are there so many wind serpents everywhere? Ow, or wing serpents, or whatever you're called. Actually, I can probably kill you. Yeah, you're only level 62. Oh no, don't tell me that was our, that was the high level. Okay, no, that's a level 50. Thankfully, the, the gargoyles are very slow in the wild, so I don't think we'll have to worry about him. Okay, let's just kill this serpent and then lose gargoyle aggro. Oh my god, we almost just lost Cloud. I need to watch our health better. Ow, rude. All right, it took us a little bit, but we now have 45, which is a number I feel way more comfortable with trying to tame this guy with. Now we, uh, we just gotta find him again, unfortunately. Uh, is that him right there? I don't know if that's him or not. Hold on, let me get rid of all the, or not get rid of, but get away from these serpents. No, please serpent, go away. Uh, no, that's a 26. I hope he didn't despawn. Oh no, I think this is him right here. Of course, dude, of course. You, ugh, only level 14? You dare? You dare fight Cloud? Oh, you can't even touch me. Can't even touch me. Oh, all right, me and my big mouth, peeps. There we go. All right, I believe the Cobalts are stronger than the normal ones, because it makes sense, because they can't breed. So logically, they would be more powerful at the cost of not being able to breed them. Oh my God, yeah, this guy's definitely stronger. Oh my God, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. We might be in trouble here, peeps. Oh God. Oh God, all right, I'm just gonna have to land. We're just gonna have to get hit for a little bit. Ow, okay, yep, ow, oh. Okay, 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 that's another spin that we can do. And one more, oh my gosh, yeah, he's so much stronger. No, we need to leave. Holy, okay, yeah, the cobalt creatures are massively stronger. All right, well, at least we won't have to worry about him being around here anymore if we if we lead him away. Uh oh, oh, I don't wanna, I don't, I don't wanna run out of stamina under the, uh, over the void. I feel like that'd be a horrible thing to happen. Oh, you suck. Nope. Gosh dang it. All right, just give me some stamina back. Ow. Ow. Oh my God, you hit so hard. Leave me alone. Like, actually leave me alone. Ooh, high level Quetzal. Dude, it, it's, he's, he's persistent. Please. Holy heck. All right. All right. Well, at least he'll be away from the gargoyle. Cave hyena. Oh, cave hyenas are strong. Oh, and they have bleed. Yeah. Oh, you're lucky. Okay, not doing so well, peeps. Uh, oh, that's a car note. I'm glad we got out of there. <laughs> oh my goodness, please. I just, I just want my gargoyle. That's a level 76. Please, where's my, oh, there you are. Okay, I'm gonna try and lure him to the desert. Yeah, let's let's try and lure him to the desert. Actually, hold on, we need to get some stamina first. And if we can get him in the desert, at least, please. What's after me now? I, I have no idea. If we can lure, oh, it's probably that uh, hostile plant. Yeah, if we can lure him to the desert, we won't have to worry about all the other crazy powerful creatures here. All right, we've got him in the desert. Did he just walk off? Okay, perfect, he's, he's hiding a stone. So that should give us time to make uh, a, a trap. Okay, he just broke out. <laughs> to fly back he's like he's like i don't belong here guys it's too hot it's dry this place sucks and you know what fair enough but i need you to come back gargoyle all right we might not have time to make a trap hello this way please i don't want you to uh, okay so he's got like a weak wing attack thank goodness i don't i don't want to i don't want to know how strong he is if if he were to actually wail on us i mean he's slow yeah, I might i might just try and do it on foot we could definitely outrun him that's for sure but i'm just worried about all these Coyotes and Dilos, that'll like undoubtedly be an issue. Ah, all right, hold on. Let's uh, let's blow up this Dilo real quick. Boop, and you survive that world's strongest Dilo. Okay, uh, okay, the gargoyle is still after us. Maybe we'll lure it down here. Yeah, come down here. Come down here, Mr. Gargoyle. That way you'll be in a semi-closed-in area. Of course, there's a coyote down here too. Why wouldn't there be? Oh, he's getting close. All right, all right, we're gonna do it. 
We're gonna do it. Let's uh, lose aggro real quick. There we go. All right. Is he immediately flying back? Actually, he's a flying creature. I don't know why putting him down here would be a, a good idea. Go away, Vine, before you even start. Ah! That's another 116! Oh my... Dude, plant! 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 Okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, this is gonna be scuffed. Um... I don't know, peeps. I'm not sure how we're gonna do this, to be honest. I think... I mean, unless I could build around him right there, but... I should, I should have made gates or something. I don't even know if we can make gates, but all I know is I'm definitely keeping you in a, in a ball, or a, I guess not a ball, a, a cube, because everything is cubed. Okay, oh yeah, I forgot, if something gets hit, you can't, right, 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 right. That resets their ability to be hidden away. Uh, and of course, there's a dumb plant down here. Okay, but he looks like he's relatively stuck here, because I think he's trying to fly back to the magic forest. And unfortunately for him, there's something in his way. So let's go ahead and shoot the plant and then figure out how to trap him. All right, peeps, I have made a trap design. I'm not sure if it'll work. It might be too small to fit a gargoyle, but we're going to try it. And oh, OK. Oh, ow. OK, um, that may have been a fluke, but I think I'm, I, I definitely might need to just make it taller. OK, come here, buddy. OK, and now we go down. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. OK. He's in. Now, I land, and I have to distract him myself, or hope he stays on trying to kill my friend. Okay, oh god, okay, uh, ow! Yeah, yep, 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 ow! Oh, 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 you're so mean! Oh, oh! But you should be trapped! Okay! Oh, that's the end grand menu, didn't mean to pull that up. We did it! We trapped the gargoyle! All right, dude, this is cool. Like, we can make all these interesting and unique trap designs. All right, now, unfortunately for me, I can't pull up the spyglass and shoot him at the same time, so... All right, we hit him in the head? How much does that do? 200. I don't know if this will be enough, but uh, we're gonna go for it, I suppose. Man, that does a lot of damage for it being a, a trank. I, I hope we don't kill him. All right, just a couple, yes! Oh, he's asleep. Okay, scan. Handbook has been updated. Check the handbook. Uh, no, that's taming. That's my tames handbook. Okay, uh, uh, gar, gargoyle. I haven't scanned the normal gargoyle. All right, you eat with, oh, cobalt organic matter. That sucks. That really sucks. Okay, um, yeah, car all right, all right, all right, all right. How fast is your torpor draining? We need to check that. Uh. Okay, it's not that fast. It's not that... Actually, that is quite fast. No, it's about med medium speed. All right, we need to kill and harvest cobalt creatures. So, thankfully, we're in an area with a lot of cobalt tranodons that we can try and take out. We could... <gasps> just... They're just Chinese dragons? A divine dragon? Level one? Are they all level ones? God damn, that danger level. All right, fair enough, man. Fair enough. Let's not, let's not. <laughs> let's, oh, where's my gargoyle? I've already lost the gargoyle. Okay, it's right here. Okay, remember where this is on the map. I can't, there's no coordinates. Okay, but it's right here. All right, all right, all right. We need to hurry up and murder as many cobalt creatures as we can. All right, land, give. So we have a total of nine. Really, coyote? Really? You know what? You're not, you're not doing anything, but I don't trust you. I don't trust you. Okay, I really love that when you knock out, air quotes, a magic creature, it like makes a magical jail around it. So it's not like it's knocked out, it's more like it's like been locked down with magical energy. I just, I love that, that's so cool. All right, please, how much, how much is that? Yes, yes! Oh, all right, right off the bat, we have an extremely good, good magic creature. Okay, peace. Oh my goodness. All right, let's check your stats. Awful health. Good stamina. Of course, amazing oxygen. Bad food, thank goodness. Bad weight. Great damage. Amazing and 14 wasted points. All right, big pain to the low health and the freaking godlike oxygen, but... Whoo! All right, dude, dude, I know we could ride you without, but does the gargoyle... Garg. Garg. Garg, not Garf. I'm not taming Garfield. All right, magic. No. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and break down this trap. And I guess just like that, we don't even need to make a saddle, which kind of sucks because no extra defense in a world of of divine dragons. 
But, uh... Yeah, actually, I haven't seen any. And I, I couldn't find any of the Cobalt Tranodons, so we had to go to the... Uh, y the normal... Are you passive? Oh! Man, I could have tamed you literally at any point last episode. I feel a little silly for that. But, uh... Yeah, I, I think those Divine Dragons might only appear when it's windy. Or that could just be coincidental. Actually, hold on. Let's let, let me get all this stuff. I don't even know why I'm wanting to get this stuff back. It's literally just blocks. All right, let's put Cobalt into a pit. No, can't do that. All right, Cobalt, you'll just have to follow us. Oh. All righty, peeps. So thankfully, they speed up a lot when, you, when they're tamed. So this is... Oh, excuse me. Yeah, no more Divine Dragons. So I wonder... They probably only appear during certain weather events, maybe certain times of day. Yeah, we're not we're not faster than a Tranodon, but this is still pretty good speed. All right, let's go ahead and drop off our Tranodon, and then we'll we'll check out this guy's moves. Everyone, please say hello to Incubus. I feel like that's a pretty cool name for a gargoyle. Also, this dude is tall. I come up to his fist, he could just throw me, and I would be powerless. I'd be like Noble Six in uh, in that one episode, not episode, but a uh, uh, mission in Halo Reach. You played the game, you know the one. All right, so we are quick, and we have a, oh my god, absolute rock'em sock'em punch. That is a right hook and a half right there, peeps. Right click is the multi-wing flap. C is nothing. X is nothing. Q, control, alt. All right, so we've got the wing slaps. Let's see that. Bap. So that hits twice and is weak, but at the punch, oh, oh. Okay, you get 200 damage. 200 damage. All right, peeps. Uh, I got a little bit of an upgrade. <laughs> Just boom. Holy heck. And it looks like we're doing 199 against creatures that may, might be mate boosted. Holy heck. We're getting so much leather. Can we... All right, it doesn't look like we can harvest things. Can we do it with the wing flaps? Nope. All right, so this is purely a combat creature, which... I, I, I expected, but oh my good. I didn't think we'd be doing that much damage. I'd like to see a Winged Serpent even try me now. All right, I think I'm gonna get you to 4K health just to make up for your lowish health stat and then we'll we'll focus its melee. All right, Centaur, bop, bop. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Hey, we, we, made the, we can unlock the Crucible now. That's pretty nice. I didn't really go into potions in vanilla, so we're gonna have to see how useful they are. Oh, ow, ow, ow I'm hurting myself. The fungus beast. Ah, uh, ah, uh, I'm being fungus. Okay, that was, I don't know why I did that. I could have just left at any point. And yes, 4K. All right, give me those. Uh, So yeah, oh, whoa, we got mushrooms. Light mushrooms. Light mushrooms always grow in caves. I'm guessing we harvested off of the fungus beast. Where did I get turkey? I probably got, oh, I probably got the turkey from killing turkeys. But uh, their bioluminescence properties bring light to dark places. Cool. We could, we could become a, a, a like a cave. Pro oh, the divine dragons. They're still over here. Oh, they're, they look so smoothly animated, peeps. That's always another thing I've really liked about Pixar is it's very pixelated, but the animations are incredibly smooth. Oh, I want you. I want you so badly. Oh, I need to, I need to, I need to quickly go ahead and, and scan it just so we can see. All right, and there we go. All right. Oh, get on! Fire spider! Fire! Oh! Oh! Oh god! I uh, I have an effect on my on my screen. I don't know what this effect is. Wow! Fire spider hits hard. Okay, I would like to leave. I would like to leave. Oh my gosh! I don't know what that effect was. All right, hold on. We gotta rock him, sock him, this gargoyle for even thinking he could fight us. Oh my goodness! All right, now we get to actually upgrade our damage. Okay, but wait, the divine dragons. Where where would that be? If I just type in dragon, that'll probably yep. Oh, what? Well, heck, peeps. All right, well, uh, I guess the Divine Dragon doesn't appear in here. It had relatively low stats. Well, I mean, low. It had still like, what, 5,000 health? I don't remember, but also a lot of you peeps were trying to tell me that the Cobalts weren't aliens. Alien creature. There's a whole tab for it, peeps. The Cobalts are aliens in this. They're, uh, it's not just a form of metal. I mean, it might be, but in this, it's definitely has to do with aliens. So, uh, plus, the game has described them as aliens to me at some point. Anyway, there you are. Yeah, this is... I don't know, peeps. Like, I'm tempted to, to try and hit it. 
to try and knock it out even because that's less torpor than what my gargoyle has but i feel like that's a very quick way to lose my gargoyle so i'm not gonna mess with it especially I, like they feel like boss type creatures because one they're danger level nine horror and they don't de-render so I, I don't know i feel like they're either very strong or i'm severely overestimating them but i trust the danger scale and I don't want to mess with it. I don't. Wanna, I don't want to mess with it. We have 4K health, and I don't think it'll one-shot us. But it could get very fast if we aggro it. And um, you know, I don't want that smoke, peeps. I do not want that smoke. But yes, oh, I'm excited for our gargoyle. All right, peeps. I think I am gonna go ahead and end this. What is this? This is a, this is an egg. What is this an egg of? Of a of of a void? Yeah, void. Oh God, a void manta. Oh, frick. Oh, frick. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to take your egg. Please leave me alone. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Are you slightly faster than me? Are you? Are you catching up to me? Oh, it is. It is catching up to me. Oh, this is unfortunate. This is... This is... This is not the turn of... A, I just wanted to end the episode. I, um... Uh... Oh, ah, 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 okay. We gotta fight. We gotta fight. Oh. Or do we? It's okay, peeps. Well, I knocked one of them, one of them into its senses. Ugh. Okay, we just gotta we just gotta be smart in our punches. Bah, bah. Oh. Okay, he doesn't do that much damage. Boom. Okay. Boom. But I know that stinger does. Oh. Truce. Truce. Ooh. Butzel. I level. Oh. Oh, 27. Yeah. Good luck. I'm not. I'm not gonna be able to knock that out. 27. Hmm. No, there's no way, peeps. There's no way we'd be able to knock that. Dang it. I would love a Quetzal. This is what I mean. Now if I end this episode and log out, this Quetzal's gone and he's trapped himself so nicely. Oh, dude. If I, if I leave this Quetzal, I know I'm going to regret it so much. Oh, I don't, I don't think we have a choice though, peeps. A 27,000 Torpor, bro. That's so much Torpor. Wow, dude, man. Look at that. Like a level seven, like a level... What, 18 centaur and he was doing 70 damage? I love that things actually do damage in this game. Ah, <sighs> uh, I really want this Quetzal. Oh yeah, another thing I didn't show peeps is that if we do C on the ground, apparently that's a heal. Which, oh wow. Unfortunately for us, the buff is overlapped itself and also off screen. <laughs> Just classic Pixar things. Uh, I don't know if that's an area heal, but that looks like it's definitely an us heal. Ah, <sighs> my goodness. I want to... Oh, we can do it again. Cool. Can we turn into stone? I don't think we can while we're riding it. Oh, man. What do I do with this Quetzal? All right, peeps. Well, good news and bad news. The bad news is we just got attacked and Incubus did hit the Quetzal. The good news is I finished... Oh, my. Where did I get four levels from? All right. Um, More health. Yes, almost 300 health. But yes, I did finish the trap in time. So this Quetzal isn't going anywhere hold on i gotta i gotta fix this this is it's making it making my brain upset there we go all right and wow that was actually our last magic dirt all right it's scuffed i will admit i will be the first to admit that this is probably one of the ugliest traps ever conceived by mankind <laughs> but it gets the job done and that's what's important now do i want to waste six years of my life trying to make enough tranks to get this guy knocked out Oh, I don't know, peeps. Oh, gosh. It's, it, it would take so long. Okay, well, you know what? We have a couple. This is certainly not enough to knock it out, but it'll, it'll at least tell us how much Torpor per shot we'll get. So if... Are you good, bro? <laughs> Why'd you yell? All right, pew, 51. You're not hostile, right? Okay, good. Let's use the spyglass. And so 250. Oh, God. Alrighty, peeps. It is a brand new day, and we have 142 sleepy arrows. I'm also going to knock out the spiders because I don't, I don't trust it. I don't trust you. Go away. Well, why aren't you fighting back? Oh. Oh, I feel a little bad that I didn't fight back. Like, uh. All right. Maybe it just wanted to watch. Oh. I, I'm legitimately, I do feel sad about that. <laughs> All right, knock out this. 
Oh, please? There we go. Hello, Void Manta. Are you- are we good? I know I stole your egg, but it- it was a great breakfast. Actually, I didn't need it. I probably should have, though. Alright! Stay over there. And, um... Here we go. Wait, wait. Oh! We get headshot bonuses! This might be possible after all, peeps! Alright, well, um... I- I don't know how long this is gonna take. Uh, but I don't think it should take all my arrows. Can you stay away, Fungal Beast. Miss Fung Fungal Beast, are you coming after me? You are. You suck. Oh! No, I don't want to hit the Quetzal! Get over here! You stupid thing. You do a lot of damage, by the way. Alright, ow! Go away! Oh my gosh, yeah, it actually is doing a lot of damage. Please, please I need you to die. I'm also taking the stupid recoil damage. Holy heck! Alright. Fungal Beast. Hey, 400, 400.1. Oh, there goes the centaurs. Oh, and you. All right, did we lose all of our uh, torpor doing that? Possibly. And of course, his head is in the wall now, so I can't actually take advantage. Gosh dang it. All right, well, this is unideal, peeps. We're at 300 health, though, now, so that's, that's nice. Oh, there we go. All right, we can get a couple headshots in at least. Right into your eyeball. Oh, no, please, please, please no. Uh, it knows, peeps. It knows that I, if, if I can't shoot it in the head, I don't, I don't know if I'll be able to tame it. All right, well, I'm gonna go over here. And actually, you know what I could do? <laughs> I could just dig through the terrain. I forget this is Pixar and not normal arc. All right, I'm coming for you. Oh, there you are. <laughs> All right, you cannot escape my tranky goodness. Oh, okay. We can actually see the torpor All right. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. We actually get a huge amount from headshots We're already at eight eight and a half thousand nine. Th okay. We're, we're definitely knocking this guy out This is this is actually crazy peeps The this episode's luck is insane we start off immediately fine. Not only a high-level gargoyle, but a high-level cobalt gargoyle. We then find a trapped, or not a trap, but like a Quetzal that's, an, and he's knocked out. A Quetzal that's in the wall, so we can easily trap it. The hardest part about getting a Quetzal, other than finding the high level, is you then have to chase it halfway across the map because it tries to fly, and that would be even more of a nightmare on a map like this that has just voids. Dude, our luck is insane. All right, um, we need prime meat, so let's head back to the pink area, and we can possibly kill a Carno for prime. That or another Quetzal, but I don't think I don't think we our gargoyle could catch a Quetzal. We could try and kill a Void Manta, but I'm still scared of, uh, about their sting. <laughs> Wait, I just got a Quetzal stuck on me. Look what this gargoyle isn't even aggroed. It just happens to be flying all the way out here. All right, Gargoyle, I didn't want to have to kill you, but it, but I mean, if you want to die so badly, there you go. All right, did I get Prime? No, no, the meat cube! Get it, yes, yes! Oh, I'm juggling it, I'm juggling the meat cube! Yes! I'm literally juggling it. This is awesome. Okay, Um, I believe that's enough. Oh my God, yep, yep. All right, we're back, and I don't remember what I was talking about, so let's just go ahead and stuff this Quetzal's face with just as many meats as possible. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. Taming is, is a little OP. I, I think that was like the first prime meat, but holy heck, 16 points into health. Again, kind of low, 12 into stamina. It doesn't really matter on a Quetzal. 14 oxygen, 13 food, 16 weight, another high damage. Nice, Of course, and 17 wasted points. All right, that's not bad. I'll take 16. 12, again, that doesn't super matter. Good weight, good damage. So this is just an amazing Quetzal. Good health, good weight, amazing damage. I am, I am very pleased with everything that has happened today, peeps. This is a good day. This is a good day to be, oh yeah. Um, I should mention we, we upgraded to iron. So we now have the iron pick, ax, armor, and I have a gas, or a, not a gas mask, but a radiation mask, which I don't know. Like, I don't think this works how the Pixar people think this works, because the back of my head is still very much exposed. Radiation isn't like gas, but I mean, what do I know? What do I know about Pixar radiation? Holy heck, peeps. All right, let's go ahead and free you and get you home and now finally actually end 
the episode. Oh my goodness. All right. Is that enough to free you? Probably not. And there we go. All right. I'm not going to be able to use this Quetzal anytime soon. Oh, are you hurt? Oh, we can test out the heal. We can test out the gargoyle heal. All right. Incubus. Incubus. Heal. Quetzal. Okay. Yep. That does work. He is free. All right. Oh, may the power of gargoyle. Oh, he is healing. All right. Um, it doesn't seem to be insane, but anything better than natural regen is good in my book. Are we stuck? Okay, there we go. All right, follow me, Quetzal. Yes. All right, and let's get home. Yeah, Quetzal is very quick. Unfortunately, not as fast as a gargoyle, but still very quick. All right, well, we're just going to have to hope that uh, it doesn't fly off. Actually, are you a he or a she? You are a she. All right, equip saddle to ride. Yeah, okay, about that. About that game. Uh. Well, I think it's level 70, right? Uh, yeah, level 70. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, we got it. We won't be able to use it for a long time, but we got it. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye. Babette attack!